guys welcome back to a new vlog it's been a hot minute since i've done vlogging i'm filming in front of the natural light in front of the window so let's hope that people passing down the street don't uh, stare at me talking to my phone how are you guys so the last couple of weeks have been kind of interesting for me um i feel like i've had some things happening um and some crazy things and some ups and some downs and i just thought i would start this vlog to kind of, I don't know, update you guys with the, the vlog family, as some channels call it. Okay, I figure I could sit here <laughs> at the lower part of the window, perhaps. Do you like my gingerbread house that's still back there? Don't worry, I wasn't going to eat it anyway because I used hot glue to make it, so it's fine. It's actually holding up quite well. Probably need to throw that away at some point. So, what's been happening? Um, I've been working still. Um, it's like slower season for things, but I'm still staying really busy and I'm actually getting, hi kitty, <laughs> I'm actually getting a lot of filming done. I'm trying to get, um, you know, as I do as many videos as I can film so that I'm a little bit ahead of the game. Um, I'm way less stressed when I have videos already done and I'm not like rushing to make something. And then also, um, I don't know if I've made the announcement yet on my main channel, um, kind of depend on when I post this vlog, but I'm going to be doing role play month early this year. So because of that, I'm also trying to get as many videos done in advance so then I can, when I announce role play month, I can start working on those requests and like get as many videos out for role play month as I possibly can. Um, being as I'm sitting in my living room, there's animals all around me, so I apologize if they're making noises because they're not the center of the tension right now. But yeah, so I'm trying to just stay on top of filming things and getting some ideas out. And role play month, um, I decided to change the date because I realized that I was putting a lot of pressure on myself. The last couple of years, I've either done it in August or September. So for how my scheduling works, like let's say I did it in August. So I would spend July prepping for role play month and getting everything done. August would be role play month and then September, kind of a break, but at the same time, September is prepping for October videos because Halloween is my favorite. Then we get into October and it's Halloween month, so I'm very busy there. Then November, once again, kind of like a relax, but at the same time, I'm prepping for December videos for Christmas. So then, then December and it's Christmas season, so I realized that those months, like July through December, I was putting so much pressure on myself to like stay on top of it with videos. I'm also doing like my photography work and my day job as well. It was just gonna be a lot, and especially since I was very busy this last summer with work. So I'm trying to relieve some of the pressure on myself. So right now I'm thinking that role play month is going to be moved to April. So it's going to be a spring, role play month instead of like summer going into like the fall months instead. So hopefully you guys won't mind and I can't wait to announce it because I love reading your guys' requests for what you want to see for role play month. So what else? Um, on a, a emotional, sadder note, it was a little crazy. Last week was actually the year anniversary of my grandfather's death. And I don't know how years can go by so fast because it's insane to me that that happened a year ago. It doesn't feel like he's been gone a year. It doesn't feel like I experienced all that a year ago, but it was most definitely like a year ago. And I went to put um, some flowers on his grave and I kind of sort of almost got in the middle of like, it was a massive funeral. But the best way I can think to describe it is think of those old black and white mobster movies. That is what all of these people look like. I, I felt like I was in the middle of a mobster's funeral. And that's why at the same time I'm trying to like get out of the way. I don't want to be disrespectful for their lost loved one. At the same time, I'm just trying to go to my grandfather's grave. So excuse me, it was a little crazy. But that's something else that happened uh, this last week. Um, what else? Update, update, update. Um, I'm really trying to think about doing some new things this year. Um, 
it's a, a mixture of things that I've been really thinking about the last couple of years and um, that could have to do with my job, could have to do with my life. And I'm trying to find the oomph to really research what I want to do and at the same time figure out if I'm making these choices for myself. Like I need them to be my choices and not because of other people trying to make me feel bad about myself, if that makes sense. So I need to kind of you know, touch base on that for what I want out of 2019. I also kind of got some exciting news and it's very early to announce it. It's still st like being planned and it's just like so fresh and new, but there is a potential that I'm going to be going on a vacation later this year um, with some friends of mine and I'm very excited. I won't say where it is yet, um, but if that happens, like obviously all of us are working um, to save up for said vacation and uh, plan it and do everything. If that happens, it just sounded so cool when she texted me, my friend that texted me and was like, hey, guess what we're thinking? Um, I immediately thought that it would be so much fun. And I was very proud of myself. I didn't go into an anxiety attack. I didn't panic. I was just like, no, that sounds like so much fun. I want to do it. So hopefully that works out. And I will definitely like share more details with that um, with you guys um, as the time gets closer and hopefully everything works out. It would be a really fun time if it did. So yeah, um, I'm home from work and uh, looking over some videos that I need to edit. Um, I might film tonight. I might not. I don't know. I might be lazy. I do have quite a bit to edit, so that's always kind of good. And then I'm going into um, February videos, getting those planned and everything as well. And yeah, that's pretty much what I've been up to. I just thought that I would start this vlog with a little bit of a life update for you guys. And we'll see where the rest of the vlog takes us. So I keep hearing about how crazy cold and wintry weather, like, the East Coast is. Meanwhile, last couple days here, blue sky, it's chilly. It's cold. Not like the East Coast cold, but... Do you see that bird? Like, I'm out here in flip flop. It's been headed towards spring. Hmm. I would step outside and have a moment, take a break from Shane Dawson's video real quick. Hi guys! I just went and got my nails done, if you can see what I had done. Um, the color, I was really going for like a silver or a gray because I'm hoping to film my Killer Frost video soon. I have no idea if that's up already when you're seeing this vlog, but I wanted something that would look um, good for the character Killer Frost. So I went with this color. Hello lovelies. Welcome to a night of filming. Doesn't my hair look fabulous? Don't worry, I'm putting wigs on. Um, I'm going to be filming the Killer Frost video tonight. So I'm actually doing two characters because if you're familiar with Killer Frost, I'm going to do the Killer Frost part and the Caitlyn Snow part. So two different parts. We're gonna start with Caitlyn, um, so it's more neutral makeup look, and then I will adjust my hair and makeup for the Killer Frost look. So, I need to set up, it's gonna be filmed in front of the green screen, and yeah. Here's a better look at my nails, in case you couldn't see them in the car. I thought they were a nice color for Killer Frost. Here I am, minding my own business, putting my wig cap on, getting ready to put my wig on, opening my coffee, and it popped open and sprayed coffee all over my face. Is there coffee on my face? Oh my god, it literally just like popped open and sprayed my entire face. I really wish I would have been filming. In other news, Gabby Hanna's new song just came out like tonight as I'm filming. It's so good. I'm such a fan of her music. I feel like she's been getting a lot of hate on YouTube lately, but I'm a fan and I really like her music. And this new song is like, I feel it. <laughs> All right, so funny story. I was thinking I was going to use this dark brown wig for Caitlyn's part. And my Killer Frost video is going to be based around the TV show Flash. So I'm going off of Danielle Panabaker. But I think that this one is too dark. So I might actually switch to this one, which is more of a light brown kind of red tintish color. I think that that might be better for Caitlyn's part. And then I obviously have this silver wig for Killer Frost part. Okay, I think that's much better for Caitlyn. 
we'll see what it kind of looks like on the camera. Wearing my wig cap is such a look, such a look. Caitlin's part's done, so now I have to switch up the makeup and make it look all frosty for Killer Frost and switch up my costume, and then I'll be filming that part. So far, it's going well, and I think it's only like 3 in the morning, probably after 3 in the morning, honestly, probably closer to 4. Right, so we have a Killer Frost makeup on. No wig yet. Got the corset that I'm going to be wearing on with it. It's been a pain in the ass because this corset is actually too big for me, so it doesn't, like singe the way it's supposed to so hopefully it will work with the blue little jacket that I got and hopefully they will all come together with the wig and the jacket and all of it to look like a killer frost look for this video oh I'm running out of energy here's a killer frost look the jacket the corset thing the wig the makeup oh, I like just got hit massively with a tired spell pretty lighting Goodbye. I need to clean up and take a shower, probably eat something, relax. It's probably close to 6 in the morning, I'm assuming. Put on my watch on. But I think that video's done if all the takes went good, so fingers crossed it is. Uh, my voice sounds a little scratchy now, but I do actually think that my normal voice is coming back more. That's why I finally decided to actually make this video. Because for a while, I didn't have a voice. Like, months. It's been months and months, and it still kind of goes off and on, especially if I work a lot of days in a row. So, I think it's coming back. We'll see. Hey. Hmm. Does anybody else's last minutes of work last forever? Hey guys, so I literally just got out of the shower. I have no makeup on, my skin is all flushed, and you can see all my blemishes. This is my face. So I'm going to maybe try to bring out a little bit of the curl in my hair. Thought it might be cool for some videos. So I'm going to use a spray, but I don't remember when I bought this spray. So if my hair falls out, I always wanted a pixie look. So now that I've put some makeup on, I look a little bit more alive, this is the uh, result with my hair. It just kind of, the spray that I used, just kind of brought out the waviness to my natural hair. So I figured I would film a couple videos with it tonight. I can't decide if I like it or not because it is more wavy than it usually is, but it also just kind of looks like when I don't brush my hair after I've washed it because it does have that natural wave, but I mean, actually, when I look at it, it is much wavier, so the spray did actually do something, and my hair hasn't fallen out, so that's something. So as I'm doing some setup and some moving around for this, the couple videos I'm going to be filming, I thought I would talk to you guys for a little bit, <laughs> just real quick. So today that I, I'm filming this vlog clip is Sunday, so it is Super Bowl Sunday when I'm filming this, and the big news today, but it technically got released a couple days ago, but of course the masses saw it today, was an ASMR ad during the Super Bowl. And um, I enjoy the ad. I think it's very cool. and <laughs> I like the sounds in it. And it's crazy. When I started my ASMR channel, never in a million years did I think there would be an ASMR ad during the Super Bowl. And it's picking up popularity and all of that. So that's good. I did enjoy the ad. <laughs> But I made the mistake of going like on Twitter and reading everybody's thoughts about it and how weird they think ASMR is and how it's creepy and it's like, why would you play that during the Super Bowl? And I made the mistake, like I went down the rabbit hole of like all negativity outside of the people that did enjoy it. And I don't know why I do that to myself. I did the same thing when Ellen like made fun of ASMR on her show and it just totally ruins my mood. Like... I love making ASMR so much, and it, like, has helped me. It helps my subscribers so much, but there's just so much judgment around it that when these things, like, in the media come out about ASMR or it's a negative interview or whatever, it just depresses me. It's so bad. It ruins my mood, and it makes me, like, go, why? Why am I still making these when I'm going to, like, get this negativity or, you know, I think about, like, why... Um, I don't share it with a lot of people in my day-to-day -day life because 
because there's like judgmental people everywhere. I don't want added panic attacks because I'm making ASMR videos. It's just, it's a thing. And I've honestly thought about doing a whole podcast about ASMR in the media. If you guys want to see that, let me know. I've kind of outlined some things and some points just to kind of vent and talk about like ASMR in the media. I have been around the ASMR community for many, many years now. I'm not new to the game. I kind of, I remember when it was the Whisper community. And so I've definitely seen it grow and change and evolve. So I liked the ad. It was just like the negativity and the backlash. And like my friend said, like, you like making videos, ignore the people online because people online are not nice people. He used a different word, but it's, I need to pay attention to that. This is a total side note as I'm in the middle of filming, but can we just appreciate how good this little fruit tray looks that I just put together for this video? Look at how cute this tray looks. I'm surprised at myself. <laughs> Although it really wasn't that difficult. So this is for a video sneak peek. Done filming for the evening. Three videos. Go me. Now to review the footage, maybe do some editing, but it's also pretty early in the morning. Need to calm down a little bit too. So I braved the snow to go to the post office. And when I say snow, little flurries that aren't sticking at all. <laughs> I got these really cool, I can do this one handed, um, hot cocoa mixes. Let's see, hot cocoa mix strong dark chocolate with a hint of mint um cinnamon from my friend vicky you guys know her as victorious asmr thank you so much hun they're definitely going to be good for the colder months i've been like loving my coffee of course but teas and hot chocolate as well so, i hope you guys have enjoyed this vlog i think i'll end it here unless something drastically crazy happens tomorrow but i think i'll end it here thanks for watching lovelies and i'll see you in the next one i think i jinxed it at the beginning of this vlog because a couple inches of snow